Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Today's back with another tutorial on NLDK. And in this video, I'll be talking about Woopama similarity. So it's a similarity that uh, similarity measurement that you can use to know whether two different words are quite similar or you know uh, fall under the other side of the spectrum. That is whether they are completely opposite. Well, uh, you won't be able to know if they are completely opposite, but you will be able to know if their similarity is, uh, you know, quite a lot or not. So anyways, uh, let's get started. So first of all, first of all, uh, you have uh, Python. From Python, uh, you will be using WordNet that I have described in the last two videos. I mean, I have shown you how, uh, Word, how you can use WordNet to generate synsets. So if you, if you have not seen that, you can watch those videos. I highly recommend that and you can come back. So anyways, uh, after this, what we'll do is that we'll, uh, I mean, for ex I mean for the example, I'll, I'll just uh, show you using uh, three words. So those words will be cake, uh, loaf and bread. All right. So I'll be using these three words and I'll be comparing each one of them and I'll be seeing how they fare uh, when it comes to similarity. So what we do is uh, first we create arrays of synsets. So if you remember, uh, we have a synsets method. So the first one will be cake and give it some time. And similarly, the second one will be wordnet.synsets. Uh, we'll be loading loaf and then similarly the third one will be for bread all right so now we have three sets of arrays so three arrays basically so let's see so the first one so i have a lot of uh, entries over here so one is a cake uh, one is patty one is cake noun and so on so I'll, I'll select the first one as the one that i'm interested in so what I'll do is that I'll give the uh, variable called cake the value of uh, you know uh, the first element which is of index zero. All right, so now uh, let's see what we have in the second one. So the second one has a lot of uh, uh, synsets again. So what I'll do is that I'll I'll be using these two basically. So one says loaf of bread and the other one says loaf. So let's see what happens. So let's say uh, loaf B, which is loaf of bread. So I'll take it as uh, the first element and the loaf, just the loaf will be the second element, which is of index one. All right, so we have loaf as loaf noun and it is zero two. Okay, so th the third one that we'll be doing is we'll be checking out the third array as usual and we have uh, three synsets. So I'll be using this noun. So what I do is I'll, I'll just uh, call the variable called uh, bread and I'll just, uh, you know, oops, sorry. Uh, so, all right, so I'll give it the first element. Okay, uh, all right guys, so we have cake, we have loaf, we have loaf B, loaf of bread and we have just bread. So now, how do you compare uh, how similar are these words? So enter something called Woopama similarity. So it's like this. So Woopama All right, so there were two scientists uh, or two programmers probably uh, who came up with this. So uh, it, it actually compares using the hypernym pre. So if you remember, we had something called hypernym tree. Uh, I spoke about this in one of the videos before. So if you have missed it, uh, you can go ahead and watch it and come back or else you can just uh, carry on and then finish. I um, mean, you can finish the video and then you can go there. So hypernym tree is nothing but, uh, I mean, if you, if you recall, there are something called hyponyms and hypernyms. So hypernyms are something which is uh, like more abstract while hyponyms are you know, they are more uh, uh, specific. So this tree, uh, this tree is used by the Wupam similarity and uh, using this, we can get to know uh, how similar or dissimilar are two words. 
So what you do is uh, you just uh, go ahead and use it. Uh, use the method called WP uh, WP similarity, which stands for WP almost similarity. So where do you call it? You call it on one of the sunsets. So we have selected cake, and then I'll call WP almost similarity, and I'll just say loaf, for example. All right. So as you can see over here, we have zero point three zero seven. Which means thirty percent similar. So that means that cake and loaf are thirty percent, you know, thirty percent similar. All right. So similarly, we can uh, check it out with loaf B, and we see that it is zero point two six, which means that uh, you know, cake and loaf of bread are twenty six percent similar. And similarly, we can uh, test it with loaf. Dot Obama similarity with loaf D, and we see that it is seventy seventy one percent similar because one is loaf, the other one is loaf of bread. So this is pretty good. All right, so you can also test it with uh, bread itself, and we'll see how it fares. So we have loaf; it is seventy six percent, much bigger. And if we have a uh, loaf B over here. We see that it has ninety four percent, guys. So it is ninety four percent similar. So this way you can know whether you know two words are similar or not. So we have loaf, we have loaf B, and we have bread, and we see that bread and loaf B are closer or similar than loaf and loaf B, because as you can see over here, loaf and loaf B have only seventy one percent, while bread and loaf B Which is loaf of bread have a uh, ninety four percent similarity uh, points. You can say that. So, lastly, ah, uh, so this is how you can uh, do it. I mean, this is how you can calculate. And lastly, I would like to show how you can. I mean, how the. Uh, I mean, how it happens. Like what is used. So, so as I was saying, something called a hypernum tree is used. So, ah, uh, we can calculate ah uh, the. Uh, the process involves the calculation of the you know distance between one word and its hypernym and the other word and its hypernym. So right now I have a loaf. So loaf is a noun. So I can I can uh, you know calculate its distance from a hypernym. So let's say I have uh, uh, for that I need to take a reference. So let's uh, let's say the reference is one second. So I'll just show you. Uh, what the hypernyms are. If you are not aware of hypernyms, you can check the previous videos. I spoke about that. So as you can see over here, it returns an array, and array has only one element. So I'll choose the first element. So with the uh, index zero. So it says since it food. So the hypernym of a loaf is food because food is more abstract. So I hope you're getting me. Ah, uh, so food is more abstract, and it's the higher class. So after we got that, what what we can do is that we can we can uh, you know give uh, the value of reference uh, a variable of our choice as this so loaf hypernyms and we'll select the zeroth element. All right, so the reference is food. Now let's see how it fares with loaf itself. So how how do you do that? Is uh, I mean how you can calculate the path is by invoking the Command called shortest path distance. So you need to pass the reference. All right. So it says the shortest path distance is one, which is pretty good, which is pretty. I mean, it's it's very small. So you can say that food and loaf actually are pretty close. So the same thing you can do with uh, bread as well. So what you need to do is uh, just replace this with bread, and you see that it is two. Or uh, two paths away, so it's like two units away. So, or uh, you can do this with the loaf of bread, loaf B as well, and you can check uh, how far they are. So, you see that it is three units away. So, loaf bread and bread are pretty close, and bread and loaf are close. So, you can see that uh, uh, loaf bread and loaf are farther than each other. uh so uh because we have i mean you can see it so that that is how we get a different so that is how we get a different uh rating over here so when we have bread and loaf 
we get 76% only but when, when we have bread and loaf of bread we have 94% and that is because of this because loaf and loaf of bread are uh, two units away while bread and loaf are you know sorry bread and loaf of bread are one unit away of course uh, the rating involves uh, much more complex calculation than j just this but uh, this gives a fair idea as to what uh, you know what what we can expect what uh, you know what actually goes on so i can also check for cake so let me check it out so okay so as you can see it says 8 8 is pretty high so as you can see over here cake and bread are quite far away so cake and loaf of bread are also far away and cake and loaf are also far away from each other so that is why when i when i take uh, cake dot uh, no wp underscore wp underscore similarity for loaf of bread i get 26 percent and the same uh, same thing goes for loaf as well but over here as you can see it is eight and it is three and here you say it is eight and one which is resulting in 30 percent so probably the tree uh involves uh i mean uh much more calculation so it is like you know they are they form the hyponyms so the hypernym has hyponyms uh, below co hyponyms so probably they they belong to similar hyponyms if they are i mean uh, so uh, all right so just uh, so what i'm trying to say is that if they are co hyponyms then they are closer and if they are children of co hyponyms they are not so close and it takes much more uh, you know um, it, it takes much more time to traverse that path. Anyways, uh, that's for uh, some other day. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, you can't just uh, figure out just from 8, 3, 2, 1. This is just distance. But the exact calculation involves a bit of, I mean, uh, an equation. So which was given by Wu and Palmer. So this is how you can find out the similarity. And you can, you know, use that in your projects to find out if two words are similar. And you can, you know, dish out... Uh, so this is basically how you can, in Google search, when you give one word, uh, search results, uh, which means something similar to the to what you're finding also pop up. So probably this is how they do it as well. Okay, uh, so that's it guys. So that's it for this video. So I just wanted to talk about Wupama similarity. I hope you have learned something. So if you liked it, just give it a thumbs up and also share this video. Also, uh, help my channel grow by subscribing to my channel and telling your friends about it. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is Rocky Day signing off. Bye-bye.